It's a devastating diagnosis, absolutely. But as I said, I'm, I'm determined uh, to use this diagnosis uh, to do some good, to continue uh, my career in public service. Fortunately, I'm doing well, I feel good, and I have a slow case of ALS. I want to continue my public service in a more focused way. Uh, you, know, you know that for you know, 31 consecutive years I was an elected official here in Massachusetts and I went up to Canada for four years as the United States Ambassador. Uh, so I, I made a long-term commitment to, to public service. I, I want to take the, the diagnosis and try, try, to, try to do good. And, and as I said, I, I believe that uh, they're getting very close, very close to significant breakthroughs. And that gives me hope uh, that it's going to help me in my lifetime. And I think it gives hope to uh, uh, people here in Massachusetts who have this disease, people around the country and, and around the world. And it's right here at the UMass Medical School campus. Uh, it's kind of become an epicenter for this this research. I think the goal is to raise $10 million. Uh, there are several ways uh, we'll go at it. Obviously, you, you want to talk to uh, high net worth individuals who can write big checks. Uh, I certainly intend to be reaching out to a lot of my political supporters uh, who have supported my political campaigns over the years and, and hope that they'll support this campaign. Uh, and this will be a full uh, There will be a website with the full uh, social media, uh, things that I don't do like Facebook and Twitter, but uh, they'll be available. Uh, and there will be a website and people can uh, make contributions over the internet. Uh, so there will be, there'll be a lot of ways to uh, support the, this, uh, this initiative.